Mehmet Oz, Pennsylvania's Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate, has been portrayed as an outsider because of his short residency in the state. His opponent, John Fetterman, says Pennsylvanians should also reject Oz because he is too strict on abortion limits. I believe abortion is health care, and I believe that that is a choice that belongs with each woman and their doctor. Oz has questioned the fitness of his opponent, who is recovering from a stroke. The Republican also accuses the Democrat of being soft on crime. These radical positions extend beyond crime to wanting to legalize all drugs, to open the border, uh, to, to raising our taxes. Gerald Dickinson, an associate professor of law at the University of Pittsburgh, notes that the candidate's stances on the issues might not be the deciding factor. It's a very, very close race. And as a result of that, what I do think is going to happen is that the personalities of these candidates is going to end up swaying this election. The candidates' appearances on the campaign trail have been overshadowed by attack ads. He's the TV doctor who knows how to sell America on what he prescribes. John Fetterman chased down an innocent, unarmed black man. Fetterman, the state's lieutenant governor, promotes himself as a mayor who turned around a struggling industrial town. Oz, a surgeon and national figure because of his long-running TV talk show, is a dual citizen of the United States and Turkey and the first Muslim ever nominated by either party for the Senate. Inflation, abortion, criminal justice, um, those are things that both campaigns, the Oz campaign and the Fetterman campaign, have been talking about. The only time the candidates talked about the issues face-to-face -face was on an October 25th debate, televised statewide but without a studio audience. Fetterman said his doctor deemed him fit to serve in the U.S. Senate, despite his having a stroke. I might miss some words during this debate, mush two words together, but it knocked me down, but I'm going to keep coming back up. Fetterman did have some difficulty during the debate. I do support fracking, and I don't, I don't, I support fracking, and I stand, and I do support fracking. Oz, meanwhile, brushing off criticism that he hawked potentially dangerous supplements on his TV show, said his background in medicine will be an asset as a lawmaker. I can make the difficult decisions, as you do in the operating room as a surgeon. I'll make them cutting our budget as well to make sure we don't have to raise taxes on a population already desperately in pain from the high inflation rate. Some viewing the debate at a watch party in Pittsburgh, a city evenly split between Republicans and Democrats, told VOA they did not see the event swaying the minds of many voters, even though Oz came across more fluently than Fetterman. I think they both stuck to primarily what their party is saying. I think uh, Fetterman had a disadvantage. He had to read before he responded, and that comes across as if he's unsure or thinking. It was very much a performance, certainly by Dr. Oz. I think um, that's what he's used to doing. I think for John Fetterman, it felt like a struggle. Um, I think he, it was just very difficult. So the whole thing was kind of painful to watch, frankly. Neither candidate can depend on traditional party support. Pennsylvania's historical working class areas, once reliable Democratic, have trended Republican while many previously solid Republican suburbs now have Democratic Party majorities. Steve Herman, VOA News, Pittsburgh.